getting into real estate investing is not something to be taken lightly. Real estate investors typically have an incredible amount of responsibilities and problems to take care of. However, if done correctly, a real estate investment can be highly profitable. But many people ask themselves, is it actually worth it? Welcome back loopers, my name is Sydney and I'm a content creator here at Doorloop. In this video, I'll be focusing on the pros and cons of real estate investing, as well as figuring out if it's right for you. To begin, let's discuss whether or not real estate investing is the right thing for you. Although investing in real estate can be a profitable activity, it's definitely not for everybody. There are so many factors that go into making it difficult for a person to decide whether or not they should pursue it. Let's cover three important aspects that you should consider before making your decision. Your personal finances, your financial goals, and the advantages and disadvantages of investing in real estate. First, your personal finances. One of the most important things to consider before investing is your finances. This is because investing in real estate can be very expensive, especially if you're going into active investing. For example, if you want to purchase an investment property, you need a large sum of cash to pay things like the down payment, property taxes, and other fees. This is why it's essential that investors have no other high interest debts before getting into real estate. It's also very important to have a significant amount of money saved up if interested in a rental property. Another important thing to consider is your financial goals. These goals can be short-term or long-term, but they should be firmly established. This is so important because depending on your goals, your investing strategy can vary quite a bit. For example, if your goal is to have some money for when you retire, but still want to keep your normal job, it may be a better idea to keep your money in a stock market or in a real estate investment trust. However, if you want to commit more of your time to real estate and want to see higher returns quickly, investing in a rental property may be the better idea. Lastly, after considering your own personal finances and goals, you should consider consider the advantages of real estate investing. The advantages and disadvantages should be weighed carefully to make sure they align with your goals and finances. I'm gonna cover these later in the video. If you find that real estate investing sounds like a great idea, then great. Now it's time to find out what kind of investor you will be and what asset class you'll be investing in. Choosing a strategy is the best way to know how you're gonna build your investment portfolio and what kind of investments you'll be making. Two common types of real estate investing are active and passive, so let's go over those. Active investing is a form of real estate investing that is very much involved and requires a lot of effort. Active investors usually devote most of their time to their investments. They also invest in proper analysis, research, and expertise in order to grow their investments. Passive investors, on the other hand, put significantly less time and effort into their investments. Passively investing is typically cheaper than actively investing, but it yields fewer returns over time. Examples of passive investing include crowdfunding opportunities, real estate funds, or real estate investment trusts. Although both of these strategies have their pros and cons, it's good to focus on just one when you're starting. But how can you make such a decision? Well, to make that decision much easier, I have a list of the pros and cons of each strategy, as well as some help choosing one yourself. The pros of real estate investing. First, it generates steady cash flow. This cash flow can be passive income or it can be your main source of income from rental properties or investment properties. That specific source of income would be known as a rental income and will come in once tenants are found for the specified property. Another pro is that real estate investments generally appreciate in value over time. This is especially true when you're investing in rental properties like houses. These investments depend on the real estate market. So when the real estate market rises, so do the value of your investments. However, when the market values fall, so does your investment. This is one of the associated risks with real estate, which we'll discuss later. Another one of the benefits of investing in real estate is that there could be potential real estate tax breaks. One of the greatest tax benefits is the rental income is not subject to self-employment tax. This means that income from your rentals is taxed less than your regular income. The government also offers other tax benefits to real estate investors, like deducting expenses from the taxes and using them to renovate the properties. Another pro is the ability to use leverage. In investing, leverage is an investment strategy that basically uses other people's money. It consists of borrowing money to invest and then paying it back with the hopeful profit from the investment. One common way that real estate agents use leverage is by borrowing money to buy a rental property. Once the property is purchased, the mortgage payments are covered by the tenant's rent payments and the loan is slowly paid off. This is typically used by rental property owners to purchase more rental properties. If it is an investor's first time purchasing a property, it may be much more difficult to even get the loan, but if the investor has a history of paying back loans, they may be more likely to be granted one. Another one of the important benefits of investing in real estate is that it builds equity. Equity is essentially the money that investors make from their investments. In the case of real estate, let's say you purchased a $500,000 property. As soon as you purchased it, you rent it out to tenants and the monthly income from that property covers the mortgage. Let's say that after one year, you only owe $480,000. That means that you are $20,000 richer and you still have the same property. That is what's known as equity. And it's the foundation of how investors profit from investments. An interesting aspect of real estate investments is that they go hand in hand with 
inflation. As the purchase price of everything else in the country goes up, so does the real estate market. This means that inflation does not lower the value of your investments, it actually bolsters them. This aspect of real estate is especially useful for long-term investors. If your properties were $200,000 right now, for example, it'll probably be worth a lot more in 10 years. And the best part is that unlike businesses and material objects, property never goes obsolete. People and businesses are always going to need places to reside, so real estate will always be significant. And lastly, an important characteristic of real estate investments is that they are tangible. This means that it will always have value. Stocks in the stock market, for example, can drop to pennies and the investors can lose all the money they invested. Real estate, however, never loses its value completely. It'll always be worth at least something. Now that you know all the advantages of investing in real estate, let's go over some of the disadvantages or cons of investing. One of the greatest disadvantages of investing in real estate, especially for active investors, is that it's very time consuming. Investors need to spend countless hours learning and managing all of their properties to make sure that they're not losing money. They must also spend a lot of time analyzing real estate trends and the market to plan their future investments. Without proper time, it is difficult to become a successful investor. That's why there exist people like professional analysts and investment managers to help ease the responsibilities. Another disadvantage of investing in real estate is that it could be very expensive. At the very least, a rental property requires a down payment, closing costs, maintenance, property tax, insurance, and repairs. This adds up to a lot of cash. Without this kind of cash, it's probably better the investor sticks with cheaper alternatives like real estate funds. Although some investors find that long-term investments are more beneficial, some prefer short-term investments. Real estate, however, is a very long-term investment. Investors are purchasing an asset that is very expensive and it cannot be sold too quickly. This means that the investor cannot get their money back in case of an emergency. This is why investors should invest in real estate properties with a long-term strategy. As I just mentioned, real estate assets are not easy or quick to sell. This makes them illiquid. Liquidity is the ability of an asset to be sold or liquidated. If an asset cannot be easily sold, like a house, then it is illiquid. This means that if the property owner is in a sudden need of cash, they might have to settle for selling the property at a very steep discount. As soon as an investor owns a piece of property, they can be held liable for anything that happens there. For example, if the property is being shown and someone gets hurt, the owner is typically held liable. This is the same for when there are tenants in the property and something happens to them. Without the right insurance, the owner may be held liable for all damages and care and get sued. As mentioned in one of the advantages, real estate investments can vary in price. They can vary with inflation, the real estate market, or general stock market. There are many factors that can cause the real estate market to fluctuate, which will cause the value of your investments to fluctuate as well. Basically, the only way for you to know if real estate investing is the best choice for you is by evaluating your financial stance and your goals and starting from there. Once you establish that, you can begin doing research and learn about how real estate investing can help you build your future. And always remember, buy low and sell high. That's all I have for today's video. I wish you the best of luck and I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, check out this playlist for more tips, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!